Here I go again on my own. Welcome back, everybody. It's a brief exhale once again. It's me, your host, Ben Morton. Oh, my gosh. It's great to be back in the studio once again. The studio being my closet. <laughs> Which I'm not coming out of. I already did that. Queer. Anyways... <laughs> This is the second episode I've shot today. The first one I shot felt like years ago. It was 8 a.m. Now, it's 9.42. Still February 26th, but now it's 9.42 at night. So I'll tell you about my day. As I said before, I uh, was going to a bowling tournament. I went to said bowling tournament. And I got fucking... A, a bunch of cool, sick shots of my friend bowling. And it was really cool. He did he did a great job. Had a wonderful time with that. Pissed some white women off. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite activity. It was mostly because um, I was in the way of them being able to watch their sons play bowling. But, like, why is that something that you want to be doing? Anyways, <laughs> I digress. And then after that, me and, uh, you know, if, if if any of you have watched my videos for a while, you know my best friend is also named Ben. He goes by Sroofy on all social media. You should follow him if you don't. But we uh, we went out to lunch, and then we went to a record store, and I got a bootleg version of Testing by ASAP Rocky on vinyl. And it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Um, I enjoy it a lot. And, you know, it's a good album. Testing's a great album. Now, I have pulled up, yet again, my uh, my notes app full of things to talk about in future Exhale episodes. And we'll, uh, we'll just, we'll find something else that I can talk about. How offensive, how offensive is the color orange? Oh my god, it's freaking out the camera. Holy shit. See, even the camera's offended by it. What the fuck? Fuck orange. I just I don't I don't understand it because is it is everything freaking out the camera now? What's going on here? That's better. That's better. I just I don't like orange. It it's jarring to look at, and I just think, you know, it's a hard color to style. It's it's specifically looking at it fashion wise. But also most things that are orange are that are like food aren't really that good orange oranges pause orange or, the orange fruit not great in my opinion orange juice also not great carrots fucking fine like what do you want me to say carrots are great I don't know I don't think so they're weird to look at too phallic for me, I'll be honest. Now, I just I just don't like it. I think that there's vast alternatives for the color orange. And um, I think, quite frankly, I think we should stop using it. Anyways, that's that's my two cents about orange, the color. Um, let's talk about something that, that's a little darker. We'll get onto a, a little bit of a darker topic. This is something that I've learned recently. And I don't like it, and it scares me. The there is a line as a as a male that you get to where you become scary. You become like just if you don't know them, if you don't know them, they're freaky. You know what I mean? And I I feel this when I'm around scary white men. I'm freaked out. They're big, they're scary, they look intimidating. I didn't realize it was a possibility for me to get into that same boat. And yet it is. I have found recently that, you know, I'll be walking somewhere and there will be somebody in front of me that will start walking faster because I'm behind them. And that makes me feel kind of sad but also, like, you go, girl. Get the fuck away from me. But also, like, whoa, right? I'm, like, that big and not a little boy anymore. 
makes me sad. I don't want to be seen as scary. But I also don't want kids running up to me all the time. Because that shit's weird. But yeah, there was a time when I was in, you know, working at my fucking job. And this kid, like, came up to me. And the parent was like, get away from that man. And I was like, I'm not a man. I'm a little guy. I didn't say that because then probably would have been, like, shot. Because it's fucking New Hampshire. But, like, you know what I mean? It's just, I feel like... It's a very weird topic for me. I don't know if I enjoy being considered scary. Obviously, in some cases, it's nice because people stay away from me and I don't like talking to people. But also, I'm sorry that you have to walk fast when I'm behind you. It's not my intention to look like I'm going to freak out. I guess it just kind of... I guess it just kind of goes that way. It started to happen more when I shaved my head. Do you think people think I'm a Nazi? I hope not. I'm not a Nazi. Just so you guys are aware. Just in case I haven't specified already, with me at the beginning of the episode talking about being queer. I'm not a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let me talk about this. Sometimes I might make multiple of these a day, it's like this one, like, for instance, today. I don't know, I just feel like it's a good creative outlet where I'm just able to kind of fucking dump, because it's nice to say things, you know? Like, sometimes there are days where I don't really have conversations with people, and so it's kind of sad, but it's nice to have a conversation with myself. I just like sitting here and talking to a camera. Because sometimes sometimes people don't listen to me <laughs> in any other situation. And that's a little sad. But it is what it is. Am I right, guys? Yes, I am in this situation. I'm right. But I think that, yeah, I think that especially this week, because there's going to be a lot of time where I just, I just am bored because it's break week and I'm friends with two people. That because it's break week and I'm friends with two people, I will be sitting alone sometimes. And I will say, hey, I'm going to make a brief exhale again today, even though I already made one. But there also might be some days where I don't make one at all. And so you have a couple from beforehand to tide yourself over. You know what I mean? Like tomorrow there's a small possibility that I will not make one because I have an eight-hour work shift. And if it's terrible then I will not be in the mood to make it a little bit of a goof, a goof goof. So that's one of the reasons why I'm making one now, is because I don't want you guys to be starving for me. Shouldn't have said that. That was weird and gross. Is this why people run away from me? <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to wrap this episode up yet. I think I'm going to talk about one more topic. This one might be su super fucking long. What is it? How long has it been? Long enough. Good God, Ben. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about how annoyingly inconsistent depression is. I fucking hate this shit. I will be okay for like three consecutive days and then I'll wake up and I'll be like, man, I don't want to get out of bed. Why'd you do that, brain? It's just, it's so inconsistent. I will have one thing that ticks me off and I'll be depressed for the rest of the day. It's just, you know, I think that there, there's a common misconception around depression where if you have it, it's nonstop. But that's just not true. You have it, it will show up and then it can leave again. And then it leaves you anxious for when the next episode will show up. It's not bipolar disorder. Because that's different. It's just a wave of sadness. And I had a big one of those at work today. Just not having a good day at work. Um, work is probably, you know, I've talked about this before. Work is the main cause of a lot of my problems. And I need to figure out a way to solve that. Probably by getting a new job. Um, 
but you know, I'm also scared of the training aspect of a new job because I already went through the training of this one and it was painstaking and annoying because of my learning disabilities. Now it's getting sad. Now we're getting a little sad. I don't want to do that to you. So I'm going to end this episode here before I get too existential and I pee my pants in front of you. That'll be next time. That's, a, that's for another day. I don't want to pee my pants in front of the camera. Again. Again. Have I peed my pants in front of a camera? Probably. That sounds like a thing I would do. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night. I'm probably going to have a pretty good one. I'll probably just go to sleep. Won't have a good morning, though. Fuck work. Might try to get out of it. We'll see. Anyways, I love you. And I hope that you have breathed well during this episode of A Brief Exhale with your host, Ben Morton. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll make eye contact with you in the next one. (laughs) 